In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a climatogram. A climatogram is a graph that shows two pieces of data, average monthly precipitation and average monthly temperature. Because there are two types of data, we need to use what's called a double Y graph. And if you look at the piece of paper, this is what we mean. We know that this is the x-axis down here. In this case, it's actually marked for us. And the vertical axis is the y. But we're also going to use the right-hand side of the paper as an axis. The months are listed along the x-axis. Temperature is listed on one side of the y-axis and precipitation on the other. So we are going to plot the data from the information sheet. And in this case, we're going to do Greensboro, North Carolina. Here are the months, the temperature, and precipitation. I'm going to plot two types of graph. The first one for temperature is going to be a line graph. And for precipitation, we're going to do a bar graph. This one's a little more straightforward because the axes are already labelled for us. So looking at the statistics, I'm going to do the temperature graph first of all. January, it says the temperature was 3.5 degrees centigrade. I'm working along this column and January 3.5 is about here. February 4.6, March 8.9, April 14.4, May 19.2, June 23.4, July is 25, August 24.4, September 21.1, October, temperature seems to drop down to 14.7, November 9 degrees, and December it's 4.4. So now I'm going to draw my line graph. I would normally use a ruler for this. You should use a ruler for it. Temperature. Now let's plot the precipitation. And in this case, we're going to use a bar graph. January. Now, I think what makes it easier so you don't get confused is to cover up this side. And now we're going to use this axis. That way you won't get confused. January precipitation is 8.5. Eight point four for February, nine point five, seven point nine, nine point one. Nine point six, eleven point seven, I think I made a mistake here. It went a little too high. 
biggest is 10.8. Down to 9.3. So now I have a climatogram. Line graph showing temperature, bar graph showing uh, precipitation. So you are going to do a climatogram for the data for Greensboro, North Carolina. And then you're going to turn over and do it for Reno, Nevada on the other side of the paper. Once you have completed that, We're going to take out the which biome sheet. Now we talked today about a biome. We know that a biome is the ecosystem and climate. Please read this section. Answer these questions. And you can use the information on, uh, in your iBook, that's section 4.4, in order to do that. And lastly, you are going to plot a graph using this data. You don't need to worry about that. And you will use this graph for it. And this homework's due day two. Thank you.